Hi there. In our previous video, we had taken you along with us to the ruins of Carthage, the enchanting city of Sidi Bou Said and the capital of Tunisia, Tunis. In today's video, we'll be going to the historic place of El Jem and then we'll explore Sous. <laughs> We are at the gar of Tunis, the Tunis train station. We just bought tickets to go to El Jem. So each ticket is 11 dinars. And we're just waiting at the platform for the train to arrive now. So we are inside the train. That's the washroom. Not the cleanest, but not the worst that I've ever seen. It's pretty all right. Now we are about to enter. Fairly decent, second class. We have reached the station of El Jam. This was our train. It's so sunny right now. It's a very small railway station. Right as you come out of the platform, you're out here. Right as you come out of the railway station, you have the first glimpses of the majestic amphitheater. This is the insanely huge Colosseum of El Jem, which could fit almost 30,000 spectators. This was used solely for bloody battles between gladiators and wild animals and criminals. This is where you get your tickets. It cost 12 dinars each to go inside this Colosseum. You enter the compound right after security check. Yeah, there's a washroom over here inside the complex as well. Looks exactly like the Colosseum, but the experience is a lot more peaceful with less crowd. You can go to the upper levels of the Colosseum for a nicer view of the insides. There's a very nice view of the town of El Jem from the third floor of this Colosseum. We came in from down there. Located in the eastern part of Tunisia, El Jem is a small town with more or less 20,000 inhabitants and it is famous for the third largest amphitheatre being built here during Roman period around 238 AD. This is slightly smaller but much well preserved compared to the Colosseum in Rome. We climbed up even more. So this is the top floor of the Colosseum and this is the view even better. In 1979, El Jem Amphitheater was included in the UNESCO World Heritage List. We are enjoying this place to our fullest. It takes you back to the Roman eras. So the plan right now is to eat something over here because we are really hungry. We did not have a proper breakfast in Tunis before leaving. And after that, we are going to take either a luage or a train, most probably a train, uh, to go to Sousse. And we're going to stay the night in Sousse today. This one's called Amlavi. It's basically a flatbread like a roti and it has omelette inside and all kinds of goodies like salad, onions, tuna, onions yeah. and french fries. Yeah. It's very nice. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's like an egg roll, right? Mm. We had the Mlawi. It was really good. We came to the railway station and unfortunately the next train is about 45 minutes delayed. So we'll take the Luage option, which is like a shared taxi van. Um, so we'll walk from here about 600 meters to the Luage stop and we'll take a Luage to Sousse. So today is going to be the first time we take a Luage in Tunisia. But not the last because the next days we are going to use a lot of luages. So this is going to be like a practice for us. 
we have found the Luage station of El Gem. This is the Luage, which is crossed. So it's right over here. We got the Luage, the front two seats. It's 6.8 dinars each to go from El Gem to Sousse. We have reached Sousse. We'll take a taxi from the Luage station of Sousse to our hotel, Hotel Paris. And uh, tomorrow we are going to come here again to take a Luage to Madinin. Today we'll just uh, check out if this is indeed the correct Luage stop to go to Madinin from. This is indeed the Luage stop from where we need to take a Luage tomorrow to go to Madinin and then to Tatawin. To go to our hotel from the Luash stop, we just ordered a bolt. We are in the city center, the Medina area of Sousse. The bolt took 6.5 dinars from the Luash stop and dropped us close to the hotel. Before going to our hotel, we are going to have some lunch in Sousse. So we are just walking around the Medina area. Let's have something to eat. The food has arrived. So this is called the Oja Escalope. It's basically eggs in a tomato sauce with some chicken. This one is called spaghetti puttanesca. Here the chicken. So that's the chicken? Yes. That's an egg? Yes. Nice. I think we're gonna scrape it off with some bread. Spaghettis and pastas are no longer just Italian dishes. They've gone international. This is by no means an authentic pasta dish but it's got a very nice taste it's got some olives uh, it's very nice it's, it's we're just smacked by it the food was delicious now we are at the center of Sous. that's the statue of president Habib Bourguiba a local market with some live music And we have reached Hotel Paris, Sous Medina. Huh. Yes. Peekaboo! <laughs> Here we have Iron Man of Tunisia. And we're in front of the Hulk. And behind us Batman. is Batman. <laughs> in front of us is the Monument of the Martyrs. Halagari, <laughs> Halagari. Halagari, Halagari. Halagari. The clip is clip. Gadar is clip. Full The very happening center of the Medina of Sus. That's a litter of cats. How many are there? <laughs> Petit cafe. Two minty. Having mint tea in a very nice cafe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was some nice mint tea in a very nice cafe. We are finally out of the souk. And that's a black cat. And these are two more black cats. In fact, three more black cats. <laughs> Some wall art. La Medina de Sus. This is the Kasba of Sus, today used as the archaeological museum of Sus. One of the main doors of the Medina of Sus, this is the Bab el Gharbi or the Western Gate. It's a blend of the old and the new. We are at the Promenade de Rampart, going towards the beach. Going to the beach through a very 
quiet neighborhood here in Sus. We've reached the beach. It's a sandy beach over here and the breeze is really soothing. We are sitting over here relaxing near the beach at the central park of Sousse and in the background we can hear the call to prayer. We couldn't resist having some ice cream after this. Nutty, nutty. Mm. Nice. We found a restaurant in the center of Sousse with a cat on a table and decided to have dinner over here. We had some shawarma and maklub and called it a night. Stay tuned for the next video in our Tunisia series where we'll be going south to the city of Tataween.